Don't you love stories that you haven't heard before, or it's been quite some time since you've heard it? I'm going to tell you one of those stories today. This is the one where Jesus is teaching, and it's a really big crowd. But out of this huge crowd of Jews, there's a couple of Greek guys who are in attendance, and they want to talk to Jesus. Well, you know how tough that's going to be, right? You have to have connections. I mean, this is this is Jesus. He's a, he's a big time draw right now. He's he's famous. And so what they decide to do is they seek out one of the apostles and success. The Greek guys find an apostle, but he isn't the decision maker. So he tells another apostle and they really can't decide. I mean, Jesus did say to go to the Jews first, right? And these guys are Greek, but they decide to ask Jesus anyway. So probably dragging these guys with them, they get close to Jesus. They leave the Greek guys behind and they tell Jesus that these Gentiles are basically asking for backstage passes. Now, at that moment, Jesus begins to speak about his impending death, and he's very troubled, and, ner- and he's nervous about it, and, and he makes the point that he really can't ask God to save him from dying because that was the entire reason that he came here. His whole reason for coming to earth was to die for mankind. And then Jesus just turns it over to God and says, Father, glorify your name. And at that exact moment, a voice from heaven replies, quote, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. And the crowd is shocked because they have heard this voice. Now, some said that the voice was like thunder. Others said it must have been the voice of an angel. But the point is, everybody heard it. And then comes the mic drop moment in the story. After God the Father finishes speaking directly to God the Son, Jesus looks at the crowd and says, quote, That voice you just heard, that was for you, not for me. Can you imagine hearing the voice of God so often that you weren't even phased by it? Can you imagine being so intimately close to God that you find having conversations with Him just normal? Can you imagine what it would be like to live a life so in unison with the Creator of the universe that it was almost as if God lived inside of you. Did you know, if you think that's fantastic, did you know that if you choose to follow God, He will actually live inside you? How convenient for those long conversations, right? If you found this video entertaining or edifying or educational, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, leave a comment, share the video. I'm Bob Balch with the That's Jesus channel. I hope you have a great day. Be blessed.